Welcome to Module 9 on Altruism and Helping Behavior. Why do people ever do nice things for other people? Well, the question is uh, surprisingly complicated because the reasons why you provide big favors are different than the reasons why you provide small favors. The reasons why you help relatives may be different than the reasons that you help strangers. In this module, we're going to explore all of the different ways in which helping behavior plays out. The emphasis is going to be primarily on helping behavior in emergency situations. And I'm especially interested in you knowing about something called the bystander effect. In emergency situations, we're talking about situations where somebody is at risk for physical harm and where there is no ability to plan for it. It's something that just happens suddenly and a, an individual needs help. The bystander effect is a peculiar thing where uh, an individual is less likely to receive help quickly if there are a lot of potential helpers nearby. If there's only one person there, that person is usually going to help very quickly, but if there's a lot of people there, it inhibits our tendency to be helpful. So uh, this unit will explore helping in a variety of different ways, but the emphasis is going to be on helping in emergency situations, uh, especially in light of the bystander effect. I hope you find it very useful, and uh, by learning about some of these things, you hopefully will become a more helpful person in your own life.